Here's another update on the aquaponics. I'm transferring it over to a hydroponic system to give that a try. But uh, here's the grow bed and a bunch of uh, onions that I've already pulled up. And basil and tomato and some lettuce that I've been picking from the bottom. Rosemary, some more lettuce. I've covered the uh, tank just with some uh, black sheet for now just to keep the algae from growing. I changed out the water and the water is pretty clear so I want to keep it that way. Uh, I was trying a bunch of air pots and uh, those plants grew really well but it just got way too thick and this was also a aquaponics system so um, having taken out all the fish I'm now converting it and I'm going to try one of the cracked key methods of um, growing. The air pots worked uh, well the only problem is the uh, water would get a lot of algae in it so I, th I think there are better ways of doing it than the way that I was trying and then I have some uh, Thai basil down here along with some peppermint and I've just put these uh, little grow pots over into this bucket until I can transfer them into a, another aquaponics uh, hydroponics container. Um, all of these plants were grown in water so I just have some of these netty pots they're wet and they're sitting out for right now and I'm gonna put them into other containers but have some lettuce peppermint some sweet potatoes I've been rooting a lot of the sweet potatoes and some rosemary just in that bucket here's another sweet potato plant that I've been picking off of and Here's some of the Rubbermaid container hydroponics that I'm doing. These are just starter beds for <clears throat> the tomato plants. Have some basil and some more peppermint and some sweet potatoes. In the hydroponic, I mean the aquaponics, they, they weren't really getting, in, I wasn't adding enough of the um, trace elements to really darken up the leaves but in this hydroponic system um, it'll be a little bit easier to to watch it uh, there's a little squash plant I think it's a spaghetti squash um, so I'm going to try to put that over into the hydroponics as well so th these were just growing with the air pots and like I said it worked out well except you did end up with algae and here's another tank I'm in the process of cutting down and starting the hydroponics this is my other garden and the squash has produced really well we've put up um, at least 12 quarts of squash and have given away just a whole bunch also so I believe it was four four plants that I uh, put there and they have done very well and a lot of little tomatoes coming on um, don't have any ripe ones yet um, there's one red one down there in the bottom it's kind of small, but have a bunch of them that are on their way. Then I have some new ones that I've put in the ground just to try some different varieties. Here's a, a little one. 
uh, San Marzano. This little one is a Hawaiian pineapple. And we picked a bunch of jalapeno pepper plant uh, peppers off of these plants. Here is the black sea man. And I have an amber colored. Here's uh, lettuce, two different types of lettuce right there. I had a had a row of lettuce and I just let these two go because they were small. So cucumber plant. Have some nice uh, zinnia zinnias that are growing here. And sweet potato. Have several sweet potatoes, but uh, what I'm doing is I'm just clipping off the vines and um, rooting some more and kind of keeping them where they won't grow such a big sweet potato. Just trying to keep them smaller. This is a new big dwarf right here. So we'll see how that one works out. Some asparagus, some onion plants, a few more of the lettuce. Have a couple of carrots there that probably need to be pulled up. And some more of the tomatoes. I think I let these two cucumbers get a little too big. Kind of on the large side. <laughs> 